the stem will have some inorganic compounds. Let's start with hydrogen chloride. Press on H, extend that so you see the H to H bond. Click on chlorine, we change hydrogen to be chlorine. Now you want to see the electrons around your chlorine. So we know that there would be three pairs of electrons around chlorine. So where do we go to find those dots? So we go to this button, the open template window button. Click on that, you would see many options. Drop this down and you would see here Lewis structure. And so you arrive at this uh, page. So you could choose which electron pair you would like to use. So I usually will use two dots to represent the electrons. Click on that. So I now have my electron pair ready. Put it above chlorine, another pair below chlorine, and at the side of chlorine. So I want to position this in a manner how we do it also on paper. So we simply have to rotate this. Press this button, rotate 90. And there you have your hydrogen chloride. You also could present the bond as an electron pair. So we go to structure, we press on tools, we see structure properties. This will appear. So we go select bond. So we have the bond here. It still is black now. We want to make this disappear, so we select white color and then we apply. So sometimes we want to have not bonds in between two atoms, but we also wanted to show electrons being shared between these two atoms. So we could do that in chem sketch. Simply go to structure again, click on tools, you will see structure properties. Then we select bond. Okay. But before you do that, highlight your molecule first. Go to bond. We change the color of the bond. So you could choose any color. I choose white so that it would look like it disappears on my uh, workspace. I apply that. There you go. I don't see my bond anymore. So what do I do? Maybe I could just simply copy this and paste. And there I have my double, my two electrons in between hydrogen and chlorine. Um, if you want to have an electron to represent hydrogen and the electron coming from chlorine, we could also do that. So we could probably delete this, go to do this structure again and then we could simply look for okay this one would be all right so we'll put it here in between you want the dot to chlorine so just rotate position it in between your atoms and there you have your hydrogen chloride and you see nothing but electron pairs. I guess carbon tetrachloride is easy for you. So let us do sulfuric acid. Let's start with sulfur. Press on hydrogen, extend to have two hydrogen will make oxygen added to sulfur. So press on oxygen. Extend, you have an OH, you have an OH there, but we don't want OH, but we need S double bond O. So from sulfur, extend to oxygen to create a double bond. From sulfur, extend to oxygen, we have another double bond. Okay, so we don't want hydrogen, but instead we want OH here. So just press on hydrogen, this will become automatically OH groups. We press on hydrogen, oxygen, we extend so we could see the hydrogen bonded to oxygen. Okay, so what's missing now would be the number of atoms or electrons rather around 
the atoms to complete its octet. Well, I think carbon tetrachloride is very easy for you. So let's do H2SO4. So on your paper, you first identify the valence electron and the number of um, electron pairs you would need for your molecule. So for H2SO4, we will be placing 16 pairs of electrons. So to start with sulfuric acid, we press on sulfur, so I have H2S, press on hydrogen, extend, and see the hydrogen to sulfur bond. We press on oxygen from sulfur, we have OH, and then we have OH, but we don't need OH, but we need the sulfur to oxygen. So from sulfur, drag the bond to oxygen. Again, do the same with the other oxygen on top. And so we have this. What's missing is the need for sulfur to be attached to an OH group at the left and OH group also at the right. So we simply click on O and then we press on H. This will become an OH. This will become an OH. If we want to see the OH bond, press H, then click on oxygen, extend, drag. You have your oxygen to hydrogen bond. Now we go to this button. We select the lone pair. So we have four electrons already around oxygen. So we need two more pairs to complete the octet for oxygen. This oxygen would have only two, four, so we add two more pairs, six and eight. To the other oxygen, we also do the same. Okay, for sulfur, we have actually more than So we add in our last two electrons to our oxygen here at the bottom. Then you could position it by just flipping some of your electrons and there you have your sulfuric acid Lewis structure. Great. Let's have more examples, but I just noticed that nitrate have been sitting all the while with an oxidation number of negative two. And so that is not right. So we change that because nitrate is NO3, negative one. Let's try to draw the Lewis structure for nitrate. So you know that nitrogen would have five valence electrons, then for each of the oxygen atom would have six. So that would be 6 times 3, you have a total of 18 plus 5. So since you have a negative 1 charge, that means you, say you add one more electron. So you have a total of 24 electrons all in all present in your Lewis dot structure for nitrate. So let's start. Okay. Nitrate is very easy. Go to the template, choose an ions. There you have nitrate. Click on nitrate, put it on your workspace, and there you have your nitrate already. Now, if you want to have the lone pairs presented, that's also easy. Go back to your template window, Lewis structure, click on the lone pairs so you would have how many for this oxygen there would be six around this oxygen six electrons around this oxygen and there would be two around this oxygen okay let's try to rotate this Rotate that one, this one to rotate, and check the formal charges. So you have six electrons for oxygen minus the number of electrons around it. We have two, four, six, and the one shared between this bond is seven. So six minus seven gives you a negative one formal charge. 
same with this oxygen atom. Here we have two, four, and then two electrons coming from this one, so you don't have a charge for this oxygen. That's correct. For nitrogen, we have five electrons in the valence shell of nitrogen, but we only have one, two, three, four around the nitrogen atom in this anion, so that would be five minus four, so that gives you a formal charge of plus one. There we have our nitrate. So two negative charges against one positive charge gives you a net charge of negative one. So we could have resonance structures actually for nitrate and ion because you could position the formal charge anywhere in these oxygen atoms that surrounds your nitrogen. So we just simply use the bracket for that and close your anion. Okay, then we write the net charge of nitrate. So we select text from the buttons here. So you put it here. There you have your space for negative one to write. And there we have our nitrate. That's good. Let's see if we have a total of 24 bonding and non-bonding electrons in your nitrate and ion. We count 2, 4, 6. The bond here, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. That's right. 